Are you tired of hearing about shortcuts to six-pack abs? And guys, I'm with you. Pull up a chair. I've got you covered. I'm going to take you step-by-step step to how to get a six-pack regardless of what body fat level you're at right now. What's up, guys? Jeff Cavalier, AthleanX.com. So you're looking for a step-by-step -step way to get to a six-pack and you haven't quite found that truthful information out there that's going to get you there. So what I wanted to do here at AthleanX was put together a video where we specifically addressed how to get to a six pack depending upon the body fat level that you're at right now. Okay, We know that there's a lots of different variations of body fat levels that we can have in the path to a six pack is going to be greatly different depending upon where you are right now. So what I'm going to do is cover all the different ranges of body fat and tell you specifically what your path should be, what you should focus on, and what you should ignore so you can find that helpful video that you've been looking for all along. So we're going to kick it off right away with our first group, our 30 to 40 percent body fat level. Okay, first up, 30 to 40 percent body fat. And note guys, I'm saying body fat and not body weight. Because there will be some guys that are going to step on the field this weekend in the NFL playoffs that are close to 300 pounds that are almost sporting six-pack abs. Because these guys are just complete beasts in terms of their physical development. They are not fat just because they weigh a lot. These are big men that have a lot of muscle. So you have to be careful when you distinguish. But that being said, this right here is what a guy at 30 to 40 percent body fat would look like. So if you can identify with this, your attack plan is as follows. You want to focus 90% of your efforts on changing your nutrition habits. Okay, And two things in particular. You want to make sure you're making small changes. Small changes made over the course of time. Right? It didn't take you a day to get this to this point, guys. So it's not going to take you a day to get out of it. So you want to make small changes and try to simplify your meal plan choices. Take five breakfasts that you actually enjoy eating and then rotate through those. That's plenty of breakfast options to last you for many, many, many weeks without becoming bored or stale. Because a lot of guys wind up repeating the same meals anyway each and every day. Secondly, supplementation. Do you need supplements at this point? My answer is no. You're focusing on the minutiae when you should be focusing on, again, changing your overall dietary habits. And at this point, supplements are kind of a waste. Why? Because what winds up happening is these guys think that, oh, I'm taking these supplements so I can be more uh, uh, lax on my diet here. And that's not, the, that's not the case. Matter of fact, I tell guys, I don't want to see an order for Athlean RX supplements if you're here because you're focusing on the wrong thing. First, let's get your nutrition in order. We can worry about the supplementation later and we'll talk about that as we get down into the other groups. Thirdly, conditioning. Conditioning is important, guys. You've got to get your body moving. You have to establish a caloric deficit. One of the best ways to do that is just through conditioning. However, you know how I feel about steady state cardio, and I feel that even here in early introduction to high intensity interval training, without the high intensity is the best way to go. So if your interval is even a two mile per hour slow walk with a four and a half mile per hour slow jog, if that's what you can handle at the moment, that's what you can handle. You can work yourself up, but I do think that incorporating intervals into your conditioning is key. Finally, smart strength training. Yes, it's a good idea to be in the gym, but you guys know, you've seen this guy before. In the gym, he's the one that winds up hurting himself. He's the one that uses terrible form of pushdowns, you know, that kind of thing. Or the one doing crunches and pulling on his head. He's the guy that's doing all the things he thinks he's supposed to be, but unfortunately, at this weight and at this level of conditioning, he winds up hurting himself and not coming back to the gym at all. Okay? If you are a former athlete who has had experience training and you've let yourself go, you might find that you can bounce back quicker to the more standard training styles. But for me, I think let's start with smart training. Others would recommend, some, uh, some uh, workout magazines might say, oh, get a bodyweight program for a beginner. Bodyweight program, for a guy that weighs almost 300 pounds, a bodyweight program is going to be pretty damn hard, especially if you tell me you're going to have to start doing some pull-ups. So what you want to do is have smart recommendations. It might be that you're doing physio ball wall squats because you can perfect the depth, you can perfect the form, you can get your body moving. 
you work on the bigger movements so you can burn more calories. But overall, guys, you just want to get the basics. You want to get yourself going, okay? You will work yourself down from this group all the way down to where we're going to get to in this video. But the focus has to be in the right place, and that's your game plan for right now. Guys, in this 30 to 40 percent range, a quick little inspiration for you. If you find yourselves here, look no further than this guy right here, Jack Eltman. This is a guy that sent his pictures in just the other day. An absolute inspiration to me. Makes me know that what I'm doing here on YouTube and making these videos for you, it makes it all worth it. This guy changed his life. He changed his physique. He used to be a guy in this uh, uh, bracket. He clearly is not anymore, and you're going to be able to do the same thing. But again, let's start in small steps. Focus on what you need to focus on, and let's keep ourselves moving now, right down to the next range, 20 to 30 percent. All right, guys, next up, 20 to 30 percent body fat. This here is an image of what a typical person would look like in this 20 to 30 percent range. Now, what is the focus? Still, guys, common theme, majority of it should be on nutrition, okay? At this point, supplementation, though, can become a little bit of a factor. Why? Because as you start to become more dialed in on your nutrition, you will find that supplementation allows you to become a lot more consistent and reliable in terms of the choices that you're making. Right? You know what you're getting. If you're choosing the right supplements, guys, you're getting nutrients and you're controlling your portions on those nutrients. So you're able to basically get more reliable nutrition as an option, but it should not be your sole source of nutrition. You still want to be ingraining the right nutrition habits here because they're going to carry you through all the way down to that sub-10 uh, level. As far as your ab repertoire, right? We didn't really even talk about ab exercises in the first group because I didn't think it was all that necessary. You've got too much work to uncover the abs to be worrying about them at that point. However, in this case here, we want to start increasing the ab repertoire. We want to start doing the basic ab exercises. We want to start doing planks. We want to start doing, yes, crunches. Crunches work, guys. They flex the spine. It's one of the key roles of the spine. But we don't want to rely only on crunches. We want to start doing some standing rotational work, okay, with light tubing or with, with cables. Just to get your abs working properly, you don't need to be doing all these complicated uh, variations of ab exercises. As a matter of fact, a lot of guys, and you can thumb up below if it's you, will find that when doing certain reverse crunching movements in this body fat range, you get lower back pain. Why is that? It's because your abs are still too deconditioned and not strong enough to handle the loads of your lower body in those reverse crunching movements or hanging movements. So you got to pick and choose and most of all, I think, find the benefit in focusing on core engagement on all of your big lifts. This is something I talked about a lot here at Athlete Next. When you're doing your bent rows, when you're doing your, your, your squats, engage your core. Be aware of it. Try to hold it and activate it throughout the rep so that you have that stability carrying through. That's going to go a long way towards helping you build that foundation for your six pack as you continue to strip away this body fat. And in terms of your conditioning, you still want to be improving your intervals at this point. We're still, we like interval training here. So you want to start to improve those intervals. If you were doing two mile and four mile, you're going to be doing four and six miles an hour or seven miles an hour. Okay? Try to gradually improve your conditioning as you can so you can continue to use that as a source of burning fat, burning calories to establish that caloric deficit. But this here, guys, this is your game plan for getting out of this zone and down to the next one. All right, guys, moving on to the next group right here, 15 to 20% body fat, what I call no man's land. Why? It's because where most guys get stuck on their way to their six-pack abs. This is what I'm talking about. This is the 15 to 20% guy, okay? If you look like this, you might be able to relate to the fact that you've looked like this for quite a while because this is a hard realm to get out of because it requires the most consistency. You've already done a good job. If you're in this range, guys, you've put yourself in a range that's better than average, better than the average guy, because the average guy is going to fall higher than this, unfortunately. But it's going to take a consistent, dedicated effort to get yourself out of here. But i got to give you some encouragement. It's one of the easiest places to get out of if you do it right. Here's what you have to do. In order to get out of no man's land, you have to be consistent, like I said. That requires variation in your training. 
Don't keep doing the same workout over and over again. Your mind will get stale, your muscles will get used to it, you're going to wind up being here because as I say, if you keep doing what you've been doing, you're going to keep getting what you've been getting. And I know I've attacked some DVD programs before, I think they contribute to a lot of this happening because they basically tell you to keep doing the same exact workout over and over again. No variation on exercise, no variation on intensity, listening to the same guy over and over again, it gets boring, okay? So what you want to do is vary that, you want to have consistent progression here. Here's where you're aiming for an additional rep. Here's where you're aiming for a little bit more in your conditioning, a little bit more effort. All these things are going to add up because as you start to push, you're going to see changes. And as you see changes, they should inspire you mentally to be able to push further. Because once you get through here, the rest is easy, guys. We put abs in every single exercise now. This is where our Athlean X guys come in all the time. This is where a lot of our guys that come to us for Athlean X are. They're in this zone, they're frustrated, they can't get results, they start the program, we get them through because we start putting abs in every single exercise. By doing exactly what we've shown you here on this channel for many, many years now. Intensity, again, without annihilation. You want to push yourself as hard as you can, you don't want to annihilate and start overtraining. We've discussed that before, yes it's very real, yes it does happen to keep a lot of guys in this realm when they succumb to it. Finally, supplementation. A good thing here, again, it's, it, it, it's going to continue your efforts of your good nutrition. It's going to make it easier. It's going to make it be more consistent, okay? So everything comes down to consistency here, and supplementation gives you that edge in this point for our recovery from our hard workouts. So if you are leaving it all out there, the supplementation, the right kind of supplementation will help you to recover from those hard workouts so you can continue to repeat it and be consistent, okay? So that is your goal here. Remain consistent, do everything you can, ab exercise, again the repertoire increases again, you should have a little less back pain if you were the guy that did have back pain in the 20% range because your abs should be stronger, you should be able to tolerate more of an increased repertoire, especially with some of the lower, uh, lower uh, curling from the lower body up, especially on like a hanging bar, the more difficult ab exercises are well within your range to do. Okay guys, this is where it starts to get good. This is the 10% body fat range right here. This is what we're talking about, okay? Definitely you've got visible abs at this point, but you think you could do a little bit more. You think there's still some room for improvement, and that's a good thing because you're right. If your goals are to get a really ripped six pack, then you're gonna have to get lower than 10% body fat. But here's where we sort of have some new techniques, right? Abs in the right light is what I say. This is the guy that says, I can see them when I'm in a room with all shadows, but when I go out in the daylight, nobody can see my abs anymore if I get to the beach, right? What we have to focus here on, guys, is fine-tuning. And at this point, when we talk about nutrition, I say here, cheat meals, not days, right? I don't believe in cheat days, guys. I really don't. I think if it's like, it's, I have an analogy I talk about playing darts. Anybody can play darts. All you have to do is set up a board and be able to hit the board, right? I've seen some people be able to you know, hit the wall and come close to hitting people around them. They're not good dart players. They probably shouldn't be playing. But the guys that can play darts, you're basically just trying to hit the board if you just want to be an average dart player. But if you want to win at darts, you got to hit the bullseye. And when you want to start getting sub 10% body fat, you guys better be willing to hit the bullseye more often than not. And that is where I say cheat meals, not days. And even your meals, you want to try to keep them to a minimum. If you're eating five to six times a day, you're looking at 35 to 40 meals a week, try to slip up on only a couple of them, guys, because if you really are dedicated to wanting to get a ripped six-pack, you're going to have to make some of those modifications. Yeah, I'm not saying eat uncomfortably or to starve yourself, because especially an athlete next on our meal plans, guys, you're eating well and you're eating foods that you're going to like. Ask any guy that's followed the program, they actually enjoy the meals around. So it does not mean starvation, it just means not succumbing to these really bad uh, cheat meals, okay? From here, six-pack progression. I've talked about it in another video before, guys. We did a whole video on it. I can actually link it right here. Um, that video, guys, talked about a sequence for your ab training. Now we're getting more sophisticated. Now we want to start following specific sequencing. Lower abs, bottom-up rotation, top-down, mid-range, top-down rotation, okay? Static you know, contraction of the abs, anti-rotation, rotation, 
Those things start to matter, and you want to start following that. We have it all covered. We actually lay it all out for you uh, in our six-pack promise that comes with Athlean X uh, to give you guys more of these specific workout-by-workout workout options. But suffice it to say that at this point, guys, the sophistication level of your training, of your abs specifically, increases. And finally, all progression. You want to start pushing yourself again, like I said, that one extra rep, that extra intensity, that better effort on your, your conditioning workouts, all of it's going to add up to get you through this wall here at 10% and really get you down lean, ripped, and athletic. All right, let's wrap it all up, guys. Right here, the absolute shredded 5%, 6 7% body fat. This is where, guys, you are going to become your own worst critic you know exactly what you have to work on. These are the guys that are going to say, I really want to get my obliques a little bit more, or I got to get my serratus to pop out a little bit more, or I got to work on those lower abs, right? This is where you become sort of a scientist of your own body. Your supplementation, again, fine tuning guys, you're, you're taking, you should be so consistent with your supplementation by now. You should be so consistent with your nutrition at this point. Everything should be dialed in. It's just a matter of tweaking to make sure that you look the way you want to look. Honestly guys, I come out here and I film these videos for you guys each and every week. I never pre-film videos. I do them in real time as you see. I want you guys to see that it is possible to maintain a certain level of physique and body fat year round. I've talked about bulking and cutting. It's BS. It doesn't, it's not needed. I don't want you guys to ever feel as if you need to do that. You can continue to add muscle. I'm close to 40 years old. I've added muscle here even in the past couple of years by being consistent with my training, by continuing to push myself hard at every workout, and by becoming sort of in tune with my body to the point where this becomes automatic, guys. You can do it, okay? You can do it. And I've actually, as I said so many times here, put this all together for you in the Athletics training system. Guys want to know what I do. That is what I live and what I preach, and I put that all together for you guys in a program that will help you. Again, whether you're Jack Eltman and you're working all the way from 30 to 40 percent body fat, or whether you're a guy that's already ripped and lean and just looking to gain that extra edge, this is the program for you guys. I've been saying it all along. If you haven't already, come join me on Team Athlean, athleanx.com. I hope you guys found this incredibly long video to be helpful. I know that it is longer than my usual, but I think if you watch it, even if you're not at these high levels of body fat, you're going to find it extremely helpful and hopefully you can push a friend to the video and let him see it because I think if they start focusing on the right things, they're going to get all the BS out of their heads that they're getting filled with well, some of these other videos that aren't really addressing the real deal and hopefully find this one to be the answer. All right, guys, I'll be back here again in next week in just a few days actually. Uh, let me know if you found this video helpful, and uh, let me know where you're at right now. What's your body fat level? Maybe I can uh, get you exactly on that path to where you want to be. All right, guys, talk to you soon.